Hi, I'm Erica Johnson, a certified Canva creative. Today, we're going to learn how to use Canva for real estate. We're going to make one Instagram post and two beautiful flyers to promote your real estate business. Do you keep hearing about Canva and you've tried Canva but were kind of confused, especially when it came to promoting your real estate business? Today, you're in for a treat. I'm gonna show you quite a few things you didn't even think that you can make with Canva, that you can make the same beautiful graphics for your real estate business. So imagine that, your new listing, just listed, under contract, you can do all of that inside of Canva and much more. This is an email header. I bet you didn't know you can make that in Canva. This is a video. You can actually edit videos inside Canva, so that's exciting if you like to show walkthroughs of properties and interviews with other people in the community. And if you have a lead magnet or freebie that you like to share with your buyers or sellers, you can actually make the mock-up inside Canva. This is a lead magnet. So you can make your lead magnets in here. You can make them as many pages as you like. These are some Instagram stories I made for someone. So your Instagram stories you can make inside Canva. If you plan on sharing your properties on Pinterest, you can make Pinterest pins inside of Canva. This is what I wanted to share. So this is actually a brochure. You can make this inside Canva as well. So a trifold brochure that you share with your buyers and sellers. You can make this in Canva or maybe you drop it off at the different properties that you see, FISBO listings and stuff like that. You can make that in here as well. Once you're inside your Canva account, you can type in real estate and up come a bunch of templates so let's say you want to do like this just sold you're going to click on it and as you can see there's a video there's a square there's some text more text and then the actual address so for this example we're just going to change the text to make it more our own so what you can do to make it more match more with your brand is you can go over to the font and how you do that is you just highlight the text with your mouse and then click text over on the left side and you can see where it automatically has a heading a subheading body text and there's lots of different font combinations for you to choose from where it says the fonts here and we can type in Oswald and it's okay if you don't know the name of the particular font you want to use Canva has plenty of font choices to choose from. So another thing you can do if you want to use, like it says calligraphy as an example, it will give you suggestions. Let's say we want to use a serif font. Up come all the serif fonts, and let's say we want to use a sans serif. Not to get too technical with it, but just as examples. And then let's say you don't know what type of font you're in the mood for. You just want to find something that looks cute or that looks good. So inside of here, it's going to show you your recently used fonts at the top, your brand fonts, if you set those for the header, the subheader, and the body text, and then your uploaded fonts, if you have any. If you have Canva Pro, you can upload, I think, up to 20 or maybe 25 fonts at a time. As you can see, I love to upload fonts. And then Canva includes quite a few fonts to choose from. So you're covered there. So let's see, maybe I want to use this font instead. Well, that was kind of like what was already there. But yeah, you just click the different ones that you want to try and it changes automatically. And then back to Oswald. Okay, so we'll just leave the address for that example. Let's say we want to use one of our colors instead. So as you can see, when you click the box, it shows the color that it is currently. So if we click on that, up come other colors for us to choose from. And depending on if you've uploaded fonts to your brand kit, those are what will appear here. And then Canva has quite a few default colors for you to choose from. So let's say you don't have your colors picked out just yet. They have some that are already picked out for you from designers. This is a curated collection and you can just apply one of those. Let's see, let's make those a little bit brighter. So it ends up being in the styles on the left hand side. I'll go with the Barlow Bold. And I guess it also shows up here. So now that I have that here, I can go and I can change this to one of those Barlow Bold colors. I want the background to be that blue. Okay, so I'm gonna make it that blue. Cool. 
Now this I'm going to make white down here is going to be white as well. And then I want that font to be different. So I'm going to come up here and get quite a bit bigger. And that looks cool. Just full. And now it's bright because on Instagram and social media or online in general, usually stuff has a white background. So anytime you can add a pop of color, let's say I want to change the font again. I can go up to make it a little bit smaller. Boom. I like that. Just sold. And then to customize it even more, you can actually click on that text, click on the little trash can, make sure you have your logo up loaded and if not you can click upload and add your font and there's also a logo folder here that you can add it to and i have my realtor's logo already so if i just click and then make it a little bit smaller that one works or if you have a white version so that it shows up on this bright background you can do that so there we go pretty nice and also what i would like to do is preview this so isn't that nice? It goes like a top, top view. The logo's there. You're just sold there. And then in the caption, you can put the telephone number, your email address, all that cool stuff. So that's how we make a just sold post. Let's say we want to make a flyer. As a realtor, you need those, right? Again, I'm just going to type in real estate. And these are, you know, the templates to get started if this is your very first time in here. Let's see. Let's go with this one first. So I'm gonna teach you a trick for how to have the same colors we just had on our Instagram posts on our flyer. So we have a flyer and as you can see in templates up here, if we add another page, we can type in real estate here as well and up come a bunch of flyers. So never feel like you have to just make one flyer at a time. You can make a bunch at a time, which is pretty cool. And let's say, you know, you want maybe two versions of this. So first thing we want to do to make them look uniform is make sure the font's the same. So a quick thing you can do, since we just made that other post, is we can say add new page, go all the way down to where it says all your designs, click that, and then the one we just made is going to be a recent one. Click that, and then it will pop up here. So the hack is you are going to click on the elements you want to be the same color as in this post. So since we like that blue, we're going to click everywhere it's brown and change it to that blue. And then we want to use this for the heading font, that color, if we can. So we'll go ahead and change that one. And it will show up as document colors. And I also wanted this. So we want to use the same font from before, this La La the Ref, and I uploaded that. So I'm going to click on the La La, and now they look pretty uniform. Okay, now it looks a lot more uniform than it did before. But to, you know, keep the same cohesion, we want to make our font far or medium. And I mean, you can play to heart's content, but yes, doesn't it look pretty cohesive now? Title, subtitle. What we can do is we can actually add the logo up there, or we can say, let's zoom in a little bit. If we go to element, shape, scroll down to shape, make it the same size as best we can. Doesn't have to be perfect. Position backward, and now with this one, we're going to delete it because there's no way for us to edit that text. And then now we can add some text. Just click anywhere on the design and click text, add heading, and we're going to say just listed and make this quite a bit smaller. We'll first shift enter to make it right on top of each other and then make it a little bit smaller. We can bring this right up here and then we can rotate it to look like the other one and we can change the font to match what we have going on in the rest. That same font, La Alexis, and then just listed. Ta-da! And then you can change the little box on the back. But now that looks pretty cool. And then the biggest thing with the customization as well, as you know, you want to show your real property if you can. So you want to change the picture. That's the final step. To change pictures, just select the picture you'd like to change. And for this example, we're just going to use the stock photos inside of Canva. So I'm going to type in house. And I'm going to show the inside of the house just like they did here. So I'm going to just drag and drop like that. 
and then I might show an exterior of the house down here. Again, make sure the blue line is around the picture. Drag until you see it appear. And just like they have other rooms in the house here, we can, for this example, okay, so I see it's got suggested. So if I type in house, as you can see the options on the left, it says real estate, living room, kitchen, apartment, modern house. So I would love a living room picture. Even though we have this one here, let's find another one. Going along with the theme we have, this could. And actually, I like this one for this picture, actually. I like that. This could be another room in the house, you know? And then, and it doesn't have to be so matchy-matchy, but just for this example, I wanted to have like the blue and white and green because it looks nice. And then if we go up here to kitchen, this kitchen looks like it would be in this house. So that's really nice, right? And then, same thing here. So let's say this is another property. As you can see, it has a more modern feel. So if we go up here to modern kitchen, and you notice they didn't show any kitchen pictures in this flyer. So we need some kitchen pictures. And you being a realtor, you know that the kitchen and the living room pretty much sell the home. So the kitchen is very important. Just something I've learned along the way. I'm not a realtor, but I help quite a few realtors. So that's a great kitchen picture. A luxury kitchen, that would probably be better for this type of home. So we can always switch it out, that's really nice. This one's even cuter. <laughs> I'm gonna look at these all day. And then luxury living room, okay. This looks like it would be in this house. And then maybe, maybe another room in the house. So luxury home, keeping with that luxury feel. It's okay to show a bathroom. So yeah, to change the font or to change the text, just select the text box and then we might want to say five bedroom, four and a half bathroom, beautiful marble counter, pop in kitchen and bathroom, spacious backyard, spacious private backyard with swimming pool and out door fire play. That might be a huge selling point for a home like this. So whenever you're writing the text, you always want to think about your end client. So let's see what these look like. Pretty cool, right? You did it! You made two flyers for two different properties. And you'd want to do the same thing on this other property. You'd want to make the text your own, change the contact information, the website, add your logo. Just to show you one more time, you know, how to add your logo. We can add it probably, it's kind of weird on this flyer, but we can still add it. So logos, I want to use the darker logo so it actually shows up. And if you're a realtor that has to include your broker, this is a really important step for you. So you want to put your personal logo. And if you're going to use stock photos, um, a quick tip is make sure they look like houses in your geographic area. That'll make all the difference. As you can see, these are Florida homes um, that I did find through different, you know, stock image websites, online, stuff like that. So just keep that in mind. Um, you want to find images that look like the area you sell. Okay, another way you can find the broker's um, logo is, again, coming down here to add new page, all your designs, and then going back to one of the designs you have where you actually included your broker's logo. Now, if you are the broker, that's different, but I know, you know, each state's different, everything's different. So that logo is right here. I'm gonna click duplicate, and then I'm just gonna drag it up to where I need it. So on this flyer, I can put the broker's logo here, and then I'll go ahead and delete this. And then we can actually come up here to the logo and click duplicate on the right hand side. Add that one here. We can duplicate the broker's logo and then just keep dragging. So you're going to have to hold it and, you know, scroll your mouse at the same time. So that's what we can do here as well. We can go on either side, but in a tasteful way. So probably um, down here somewhere or even to make it even more aesthetically pleasing we can add two frames. So we're gonna click on grid 
And then we're gonna say position forward. And it is going to look weird, so don't panic. Just keep pressing forward until you see this. What we're gonna do is we're gonna stretch this, make it very small, okay? This is a good size. And then we're just gonna duplicate this. And for this step to look even better, make sure your logos have a transparent background. So I'm going to duplicate, drag, but this time I'm going to actually drag it here and see it shows up with that transparent background. I'm gonna take this logo, and if your logo kind of runs off, just you know, scale it to where it fits on the page, like so. Duplicate, and then just drag and so. And then we can always change the frame to where we see the logo more, and then we can always scale it. You might have to play with it a little bit, but you get the idea. You just wanna make a box for it to show up to where people can see full logo and all that. So since we put the logos up here, we can take them off and down here. And now the flyer looks even better. So let's see them full screen one last time. Cool. Just listen. So if you are, you know, with everything going on, you can still provide flyer. People still love flyers online. If you're gonna share it on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, they still love this. And another cool thing you can do with this is you can actually like put these on your website. That way when you have a new property listed, you can actually have this flyer embedded and it's just something beautiful for the seller and buyer to look at. And you know about that, but just wanted to reiterate the uses you can use instead of actually physically printing them out, you can have them like this. And then to add it to your computer, you can just click save. For this example, we'll just do a PDF. And I want to save them separately because they're for two different properties. I can click on page one, done, download. And to page two, done, same thing. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. You can also connect with me on Instagram at ePartnersMarketing and check out my work at ePartnersMarketing.com. Oh, and I do have some Canva templates there too.